at times as a 3D modeling you know, person, I have wondered, and you must also have seen uh, queries online that how to convert a Google Maps 3D image into real Blender image. So let us now open up uh, Google Maps, you know, for example, Buckingham Palace um, model that is available free of cost at Google Maps. Uh, you can go to the satellite view and uh, then press shift and then left clicking and rolling over you can see the 3D image. Now how uh, I always wonder how you can convert this into a 3D model. So let us first get rid of these labels and now we are going to record this thing using a freely available online video capturing tool. So I have used a screencast Omatic, which is free of cost and easily available right here. And you can open it, run it, and then you can capture the 3D view by rotating this particular Google Maps image. And you must rotate it slowly so that it because it takes time to load as well as you should be thorough in rotating it full 360 degrees so that it could capture all the views and then something like a closer view again 360 degree view so all these things are being recorded in a video format now I have saved it in a video format over here <coughs> and I'm gonna open it so when you open this this is the uh, video that you see now you see that uh, it's been captured from all across all sides top view of course but uh, as far as you can go uh, the point is that it should be uh, you know visible clear and as many viewports you can record uh, that would be better now we're going to open blender and delete this cube get to the video editing add the movie that we just captured and the point is that we are going to convert this video into image sequence now this is the recording that I just brought up and you can see that it's uh, perfectly loaded here in the animation player you can run the animation now you can see that it has like 4500 frames that's the length of the video it's a long video uh, so you need to convert um, this thing into 4500 and then go to the default view now here we are going to render this in image format but the thing is uh, that you know this 4500 is here so it's okay now the frame step is something that we are going to change we are not going to render all the frames maybe like we, we are going to skip some frames like 25 or maybe 45 so that we can get something like 100 images out of this video that should be perfect select a uh, a folder where we are going to save those images and there we go now check all the settings once more if everything is okay you might want to change uh, I don't think you might want to change anything except the resolution which should be 100% it should be in the PNG format and then you can start rendering the animation now this is the image sequence that I've got <coughs> out of this video so as you can see there are something like you know about 100 images uh, we have got from all the views this is the back view and accordingly you can see uh, you know uh, now this uh, watermark that you're getting yeah, you don't need to worry about that it's not going to get converted into 3d so it's going to be discarded by the software which we are going to use soon and that software is Meshroom. Meshroom is a <clears throat> photogrammetry software 
which converts sequence of images into a 3D model. You can download the Windows version of Meshroom from here. It's free of cost, it's open source, it's available for both Windows and Linux. Here I have it downloaded, it's something like 300 megabytes size. And here I have, after download, the you know GUI of Metro. Here you have a drag drop, you know, drop image files, I'm sorry, uh, folders. So you can drop the images which you want to convert a 3D model into. <coughs> Excuse me. And we are going to drop all the images that we just captured here using Blender into this software. Now drag it and drop it here. Get rid of other kinds of files, just the images we want. And we are going to, need to drop it. Okay. So now it's initializing cameras and Meshroom is a pretty smart software. It's, uh, you know, pretty effective and powerful. So all the images are loaded here and uh, I just need to see the, how it converts into the final 3D model. You don't need to worry about much uh, about this because <clears throat> these things do not need to change. You just need to click the start button. <coughs> You might need to save the project with, while I'm continuing without saving because um, I've already done this project once, but you must save it. Now you can see that uh, the status bar here has started showing uh, orange color and green color, and all these uh, steps are also color coded. Whenever one is finished, it becomes green, and now it's done. So now you see load <coughs> image, load model button. When you do that, you get the model finished. What we can do is now again, go to Blender, convert into Cycles Render, get rid of this cube, and now go to Import and Webform File. Now here, you're gonna <clears throat> go to your folder, Meshroom, and this is the, the path which you're going to choose. So OBJ file, you're going to select it's pretty a uh, big file it's something like 50 MB so it's going to take a few seconds to load because it's pretty intense mesh that meshroom creates out of the complex object like this one well this is the model that we've got it doesn't look much as of now but soon we will see how it is actually the model that we wanted and you need to rotate it a little bit, align with the axis, uh, something like this. Uh, yeah, so, um, you know, you go to the material mode and then you can see all the texture and material uh, on the model. Uh, this perhaps is upside down, so I'm going to rotate it like 180 degrees and then again rotate it in the front view and in the side view shift it a little bit upwards and there you go yeah so here you have the building Buckingham Palace right here in our blender a 3d modeled one cool well, it's not that high res because of the kind of images we captured, but you can just give it one more shot and then find some pretty good resolution images out of Google Maps. And then you can find pretty good texture over here. But for the timing, it is okay. Now go to the edit mode and see how dense the mesh is. How many faces are there? It's like uh, 600,000 uh, faces are there more than that. Go to the wireframe mode and get rid of some of the junk on the boundary. We just need the central building, the palace itself. So we are going to get rid of all other frame, or all other faces um, which are not very useful because that's not the, uh, the thing that we wanted to get modeled. So now go again to the object mode go to the materials viewport and then 
there you go here now we have got rid of all the junk and only the central building is there now pretty cool right you have the front gate and the facade let's render it oh so our lamp is not positioned so first we are going to see how we can do that go to lamp and then convert it into sun and position the light source so that you know it's appropriately focused and uh, the lights are good now I think this should be okay one more thing we can do is that I can uh, just brighten up the environment uh, that I'm going to do in a little bit from now but so far it is looking okay uh, yeah let's go to the environment use nodes and make it more brighter something like white and go to the perspective mode now it looks more realistic and go to render yeah there you go so here you have buckingham palace rendered out in 3d a model which you can use in blender for any purpose of your choice you can use it for making uh, you know putting the palace on fire maybe or uh, it's I know it's not that high res or uh, it, it, but but you know it's workable it's it's uh, not that bad and you can always improve it although it's a bit difficult you can use some tools to make it more smoother like the ground and other you know the, the front gate etc so there it is and thanks for watching